All right, let's move forward. Uh, obviously, we've uh, had the release of Volume Six. Funhouse. Uh, uh, that's my new background. No, I don't. Right <laughs> there we go. Good. Funhouse, Space Station, and Doctor Dude. Thank you for that background. My God, just total, total <laughs> blank there. Um, <laughs> those were those were something that we had thought. And you had thought initially, and obviously that was pre-COVID thinking, um, that they were going to be out around May, uh, possibly June, and obviously came all the way around to October. Uh, how much of that was COVID-based that was causing a delay of the game? How much was it uh, just not realizing what emulating alphanumerics was going to involve? Um, it's I'd say it's 10% COVID, maybe less than mostly underestimating what the heck we are getting ourselves into. Um, and actually the original release date for these, I'm looking back on our, our original calendar, you guys, it was Q4 last year. So oh my gosh. <laughs> we on our dev schedule had like, a, cause you know, we like to publish at the end of the year. We usually do like a December, right? you know? Uh, yeah. I mean, so we had just come off of universal monsters. Right. And then uh, that, and so, and then yeah, anyway, we were trying to get them out last year, like Q4, like late in the year. Um, and we finally got to it uh, just recently. So I, I was talking to the guys about because, you know, um, okay, because <laughs> you, you do a PL, you, you have an estimated resource, you have the sheet, right? That says, okay, let's go forward, let's do this. And when things are just so far off, like just like light years apart, you're like, oh my God, what just happened? Um, <laughs> basically, the way they said to me is like, Mel, it was, it's like, uh, trying to read hieroglyphics or it's like Neo in the Matrix, trying to make sense of things. It, we found just, uh, you know, difficulties around every turn, whether it was music, scoreboard, uh, just, you know, then once you once you get it running, integrating it into PFX, it, into our platform, I mean, this it was just, it was so crazy. Um, I mean, this is like one of the most hardcore coding efforts we've ever done for anything pinball. So Wow. Yeah. That's that's kind of surprising because everybody yeah. just kind of assumes. Even the name community actually is giving us a lot of props right now because they're just like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> And so that, that's good feedback for us because those guys are pretty good too. So, Because, I mean, a lot of people just think, oh, well, those are older. They should be simpler. And then, Jared, your your theory had to do with uh, clock speeds, right? Yeah, definitely clock speeds. Because, like, trying to dial back the, the processor, like the modern processors we have today are, like, so powerful. And these ones were running on, like, 15 or 20 megahertz processors. So trying to slow everything down enough that the game doesn't just run at like 100 miles an hour would have been probably one of the largest problems. And I believe that was probably one of the biggest ones that Farsight had at the time, just trying to govern everything back again to a reasonable speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the decoding effort. I mean, it, I don't know. We just, I'll just say we just underestimated every aspect of it. Um, these are complicated things. And I, you know, not to jump too far ahead, but when you start touching like old mechanical physical stuff and then trying to make it, um, you know, modern software, uh, we we just underestimated it. And going forward, we now know we have a basis to work from, but, you know, each of these games is going to present other challenges, not to say like, oh, we figured it out now. I mean, every, like I said, each one of these tables, like whether it's the music, um, there's just, uh, I don't know, all the different sounds, just dot matrix, uh, scores, all the stuff we have to put into our logic is, it's complicated stuff. So I'm hoping it'll be faster, but because we've unlocked like 25 to 30 games, you know, that we can potentially bring in now. Um, yeah. Oh, they're running the same kind of board, basically. Yeah. 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 All the system 11, system nine sort of architecture um, comes in now, which is awesome. So yeah, <laughs> I think the community actually is really looking forward to seeing more new stuff like Space Station coming in rather than stuff we might've seen on other platforms before. <clears throat> that's That's what we're focused on too. So. <laughs> Excellent. So, so we're not too far off base then than in saying that uh, a lot of extra time was basically made to not just make these three machines work, but potentially other machines that come into the place that you'll have a good foundation with which to problem solve from there. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like this was a trial by fire. And uh, the, the team that worked on these tables specifically has a lot of very valuable knowledge now. Um, so we're not starting from scratch. I mean, we're starting from a much higher... Uh, just start, you know, a, a base, so to speak. So hopefully they will be faster next summer. I know they will. But. 